Hi guys, Eric Harrison, your AAA powered guide to personal success. With each and every post on this channel, I intend to give you aims, attitudes, and actions that you can take right away that will lead you on your journey towards your definition of personal success. In this video, I'm talking to people that are frustrated by their results. And I'm going to encourage you to get comfortable with being uncomfortable. So right off the bat, I'm going to ask you three questions that will let you know right away if this video is for you. And if so, at the end, I'm going to give you the five and a half ways to change your results that will allow you to get comfortable with being uncomfortable. So let's get started. Okay, as I said, if one of these three things has happened to you in the last few weeks or very recently, then this video is made for you. Number one, at the end of the day, you realize that all you've done is put out a lot of fires, but you've accomplished nothing significant. Number two, you have big ideas, but you're lacking the steps to take you from where you are to where you want to go. And number three, <clears throat> your status quo leads only to frustration. And the frustration has got to go. The status quo has got to go. Is that you? Are you struggling? Are you working hard every day, but you're really not achieving the goals you've set, the ideals you have, the things that you really, truly, deep down want to accomplish in your life, this video is for you, my friend. So there's a quote we've all heard many, many times that says insanity is doing the same thing and expecting different results. But we tolerate the truth of that quote over and over and over again because many of us, and I've been there, we continue to do the same things and think eventually the tide is going to turn, but you have to do things differently if you want to see change in your life. You have ideas, but you don't have clarity. You have goals, but they're not specific. And you have plans, but nothing is written down in detail. Zig Ziglar said it this way, and I love this quote, and it's so true. If you aim at nothing, you'll hit it every time. Isn't that so true? So here it is, right away. The five and a half ways to change your results and to get comfortable with being uncomfortable. Because if you're going to make change in your life, you can't keep doing the same things. You have to change it up. You have to get outside of your comfort zone. So here are those five and a half ways. Number one, you need to take time. You need to set aside intentionally the time to think, to plan, and to dream. And this sounds so easy, and yet it is the biggest hurdle that all of us face to getting on the other side of our dreams. You have to be committed to setting aside that time. Number two, as you take time to think, to plan, and to dream, you have to write it all down. Now, this may be a foreign concept to many of you, but I am telling you to get a pen or a pencil or some sort of writing instrument and a piece of paper or something to record your thoughts on and actually write down your dreams your desires, your plans, your goals, write it down. When you've committed the time to do that, and I'm not suggesting that it can be done in a few minutes. In fact, it will probably take you, I would say a minimum of a few hours. Set aside that time, write it down. And then the third thing is pick the one or two things that you really want to focus on right now and identify it, circle it, and then plan to take that dream, 
take that goal and focus on that beginning right now. So the next step, step four, is to write out the dream, the goal, the plan in smart detail. There's a lot of information online that you can find about SMART goals, but very briefly, a SMART goal is specific, it's measurable, it's attainable, it's relevant, and it's timely. You need to have a written plan for how, step-by-step, step, you're going to go from where you are now to achieving that goal. So write it down in detail how you want to accomplish those one or two dreams or goals that you're now working on. And finally, number five, you need to work each and every day. You need to review those goals, preferably at the end of the day so that the next day you have a plan. You know exactly what you need to do. The next step that you need to take that will lead you toward achieving that goal. You've got to plan for it. If you don't plan, your schedule will get, will get filled by other things. We all know this. And number five and a half, the final thing that I would encourage you to do is in order to help you achieve your goals, your dreams, is subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to all the things I have in my social media because it is my goal to help you achieve those. I am totally here to serve you. So subscribe, share this with a friend that you know that needs this information. Follow me on all of my social media because each and every post, I am trying very hard to give you the tools, to give you the right mindset to go achieve your goals. Did you get value out of this? If you did, go ahead and hit that like button. Hit it a couple times. And if, if you liked it a lot, share it with a friend. So <clears throat> I'm inviting you to subscribe to this channel because each and every time, each and every post, I am going to try to help you to achieve and to go from where you are now to where you are you desire to be deep within yourself and you just are frustrated and can't quite get there. Question of the day, how soon can you schedule time to get started planning your dreams, your goals, your aspirations? Write a comment below. Get involved in the conversation. Do it now. Don't wait because if you do, You'll never come back to it. Take time right now. Answer that question for yourself. Post the comment below. Subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon in another video.